are you happy or are you frustrated this is very important in our journey if you are frustrated if you are bored with your life satan can easily take you away from the joy of jesus because the joy is a fruit of the holy spirit when you are when you are joyful sin can't creep in into your life so the devil's first attack is with frustration so you're frustrated monotony of life and things happen sometimes all of a sudden collapses trauma tragedy will take you away from that joy and then you begin to blame put that blame on the other people this is exactly what happened the journey of the desert people were discouraged by the journey and began to complain against god and moses why have you brought us out of egypt to die in the wilderness there's neither bread nor water here and water here and we are disgusted with this tasteless manna so god given for this tasteless they are disgusted so so what what's wrong the wrong the problem is with the attitude my dear friends not with manna not with heavenly food nothing nothing not with god or moses their attitude change because when you lose connection when you lose connection when you are in the world you you deal with the worldly things they they remember the meat cucumber and all the onions that they ate in the in in the in egypt as slaves so that's that's the setup of our mind that's the infrastructure that's the disposition of our mind my dear friends so exactly what happened to us so we we put the blame on others not us it's my problem no one else has problem my attitude has changed my connection has lost that's why the lord is saying you will die you will die yeah because you are from the world this is why i told that you will die in your sins and you shall die in your sins unless you believe that i am he i am he that's ex- exactly what happened by sending serpents is a demonic force god sent serpents the venom of that made them die kill and then lord said when they were pleading again when their eyes were open that how god protected them because of a thunderbolt because of a terrible problem their eyes are open and nobody gave not anything to the prodigal son in that piggery his eyes were open so sometimes we need this kind of blow in our head in our life in our foundation to realize that only god can save us so he asked them to make a bronze serpent and stick it on a stick fix it on those who look at him will be saved not those who deal with the wound not those who deal with the serpents they the lord didn't ask them to attack serpents eradicate them put them aside or bandage the wounds no just look at the bronze serpent a symbol of obedience symbol of obedience and the very serpent wounded them is in another replica where made out of made out of bronze but then out of obedience those who look at him are saved that's exactly why jesus is saying and you shall die in your sins unless you believe that i am he he was raised up now he's saying i'm going away and though you will look for me you will die in your sins where i am going you cannot come so he he is raised up on the cross that's why he said you can't come because it's a different level you are from below and i am from above you are left you are of the world and and i am not 
of the world. So he came to the world to take us out of the world. So then he has to come into a flesh. And then he was raised up on a cross. So he has that, he, 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 he is clothed with human, human nature. Though he was God, kenosis which means he put on the human nature. He became a man. So then by becoming a man, he got, got ourselves connected to him. And they said, I will raise them all. Those who look at me, look at the cross, look at Jesus, will be saved. The Lord is saying, how he brought, came, came forth, how he came to this connection. When you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you will know that I am He. And I do not, not do nothing of myself, but I say just but I say just what the Father taught me. He who sent me is with me, and he has not left me alone. So it's a state of loneliness, not, not from the world, not in the world, not in the sky, heaven. It's in between. You are raised up. You are alone. But then you belong only to God there. The Lord said, He will not abandon me. He will not leave me. Why? Because I always do what pleases Him. He came to please the world. Please the Father of the world. That's how He became the sign of obedience. As a bronze serpent was made, carved out of obedience, Jesus became the replica of obedience very ideal of obedience. That's exactly in Philip chapter 2 verse 6 says, though he was God, he left his divinity and came to the world to die in a cross as a mark of obedience. So that's how God saved us. So are you ready to please God, not people? If you are ready to please God, you will be raised up. God is going to be, he's going to there, be there with you. Come what may, my dear friends. Amen. May God bless you.